Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here with a look at the second generation Airport Express base station. Now this is the first time this product has had a brand new redesign since 2004 when it debuted. Now with the update, it now has dual band support, so it supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks, and of course supports wireless in networking speeds. And on the back, you can see a diagram of exactly what's on the back of the device, and we will take a look at that once we get it out of the box. Alrighty, let's go ahead and crack open the plastic and take a look. Alright, now all we have to do is slide out the Airport Express. And it looks exactly like a white version of the Apple TV. Now let's lift the tab and pull it out and as you can see it's wrapped in plastic and the little Apple logo there and we'll set it off to the side and take a look at that later. Now in the box you got this little pull tab and here is this very neatly wound cable exactly like the packaging of the Apple TV but in white and here are the power prongs and very neatly wound and at the bottom here is the literature the Airport Express setup guide. Set that off to the side. Let's take a look at this. It's got the getting started instructions and I'll have a little walkthrough later on in this video. And next you'll see the information about the limited warranty. You can read about this in your uh, in your free time or not, which I'm not. And then next is the Airport Express regulatory certification. Now let's go ahead and peel off this plastic and slide it out. Now the top is a really nice matte finish along with a shiny Apple logo. And here's a pull tab to protect a really shiny outside edge. And on the back are all the ports. And we're going to make our way around the front. And there we go. Now along the back we have our power connector, our WAN port for connecting our ISP, we have a LAN port for connecting other network devices, a USB port for connecting a printer for wireless printing, we also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and above that we have a little reset button. And along the front we have a little LED indicator which will tell us our network status. Now as I said, this basically looks like a white version of the Apple TV, so the design and the construction are almost identical. So again, we have the shiny logos on top with that matte finish around it. On the bottom, we have the same circular pedestal design with the Apple logo, as you can see here. Of course, they're very different devices, so they have very different ports, but otherwise, they are very similar in design. Our next step is to connect it to the power adapter and set it up. Now with the Airport Express plugged in, the solid amber light is the Airport Express starting up. And then when it is flashing amber, the Airport Express is either not set up or cannot establish a connection to the network or the internet. Then you can use the airport utility to find out the cause. And then when the light is solid green, the airport express is working properly. And if it is flashing amber and green, something is really wrong and it needs to be reset up. So let's go ahead and try to set this device up for the first time. Now there are a number of ways you can set up the Airport Express. You can do so by using the Airport Utility on either a Mac or PC, or you can use an iOS device like I have here. You will go into your settings, go to Wi-Fi, and then below that, you can see the Airport Express. Go ahead and select that, and allow the airport to set up. It's gathering all the information about your home network. Now the Airport Express can be used as a wireless access point so connect your ISP directly to it and you can have a wireless access point like any other router. You can also use this in bridge mode which basically takes your existing network so it can connect to your existing wireless network and bridge them. 
The other option here is to use Range Extender. Range Extender basically allows you to take your existing wireless network and extend the range of it to broadcast a stronger signal in what, in what was once a weak signal area. And this really comes in handy in, say, larger houses. And in my case, I am going to use Range Extender. So you get these options here. You can create a new network, which is recommended, or you can select other options. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then select next in the upper right hand corner. Now I am going to add to an existing network. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Then select next in the upper right hand corner. This way it'll join my existing network and from here you will select your network so it can connect to it and then from here, you can go ahead and rename your device, the Airport Express. In this case, I am going to just, uh, just name it AP Express. Don't know why. Just going to do that. Okay, now that you got it renamed, you can set up a password for your base station. Now that I've got my passwords in, I need to enter my password for my network. Now that I finally got that entered, I'll select OK. And now it'll join my home network. As soon here, you can see the light, the LED light right here. It is green, so you know that the Airport Express is now connected to your network. And that's all there is to it. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit the like button down below and the subscribe button above. That way you'll see new videos like this in your subscription box. Go ahead and do it now. It's free. And also, if you have time, go ahead and head over to Facebook, facebook.com slash Paul's iOS help. And you can ask any questions you want there, as well as follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Paul's iOS device. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.